So let us create our Flutter project over here. So this will be our local database application that we are going to create. And we'll be using some packages over here to store our persistent data in the Flutter application using some kind of SQLite. If you are coming from the uh, Android, then you should be familiar with some kind of the like SQLite database, or you can also, you are also familiar with the room database. So we'll be using some kind, uh, some familiar kind of the packages that will be quite similar to the room database in the Android. So let us get started. So first of all, I'll go and create a new, let us create a new uh, project over here and that we, I will open a tab over here or the terminal and run the flutter command. So flutter create and that will be dash dash org. I want to keep my organization that will be uh, basically uh, your uh, package name and I'll just give a dev dot r day one that should be my uh, domain name or r day one dot dev is my uh, domain name so i'll be setting up as a dev dot r day one and the application itself so would be employee and i'll be saying as a book so this will be my application name and the package name would be dev dot r day one dot employee book so that will be the package name so if you are uh, if you want to release it back to later a play store or your um, google play somewhere then make sure you have a unique package name over here and if you create this way then later you don't have to go back and change all of your packages on your android itself as well as on the um, the ios side so just hit enter and that should create an application for us flutter application and let's just wait for it and i think it's all done so we have everything set up your application code is on this particular so we have created our application and if i go over here i have an application and that is a flutter application is created over here so let me open uh, a visual studio code so i'll be using a visual studio code over here and vs code and if you haven't downloaded just make sure you have downloaded and if you are not sure how to download and install you can just google it and you can find a lot of the tutorials about how to install all of the visual studio and the extension that is required for the flutter development so i'm not going to show you how to do installation about the visual studio code and the the other requirement for the flutter development like the flutter packages and other stuff so i have already installed and i have already set up all of my uh, required over here so what we'll do is we'll just open the folder over here and that will be inside my dev that is external directory external drive over here that i have and i will select this one and just open that particular folder over here so i'll just select as a yes i trusted it and now if i go and check everything over here that should be fine so we have i'm currently running on the flutter um 2.10 and that's why i have a windows setup over here which we basically can build a windows application but we will be just focusing on the ios and the android application over here so now what we will be doing is let us try to go to the lib and the main the dart so this is the entry point for application and you can see that i'm on the latest version of the flutter which is 2.10.0 right and currently we don't have any device so let me just select any of one device so i'll be selecting um, both the android as well as the ios for this application so first of all let me just open the android device okay so my device is up and running and the next thing is i will also launch the ios device from here ios simulator and let us wait for that one to be able to come up it will take a bit time okay so we are here so both of our device is currently running and uh, then i think that should be fine right so what we'll do is we will run our application so this is the just a default application that was created for us we haven't done anything over here just we want to make sure that everything is running well 
So what I'll do is I'll just go to the run over here and just say run without uh, debugging or you can also select it from here, right? And currently the iOS is selected. So let us run without uh, debugging and uh, that should start our application. So it will take a bit time and also we will run the same device. We will run on the Android device and you can see that it is running and it is working fine so default counter application that we have over here and let us run the same one on our currently we have this particular pixel excel api 31 and let us select and let me run it without debugging to the currently selected android device so we'll have both for the android and the ios so we will we will be continuing continuing to table up for the both of the device and we'll see how we can uh, set up for both the android as well as the ios for the android it will take a bit time to compile all of the gradle tags and if you are an android developer you should already know that it takes uh, quite a bit of time for the gradle to complete all of its um, the gradle dependency to set up right so we should wait for a bit time over here and yeah we can see that it has been completed so we can see that everything is run running and we have a sample application both installed in the android as well as on the ios side so we'll continue with our development and on the next what we will do is we will go to the the package and we will download some package right so we will go to the pub.dev over here and search for the drift package so we'll be using a drift package this is a plugin that we'll be using and this package is for to uh, it's like a sqlite and we can run write a queries we can create a table schemas and all of the relations so this is a uh, the package that we are going to use so if you see that drift is a uh, is a reactive persistent library for flutter and the dart build on top of the sqlite so if you are coming with the android and there you have a room database right so that's quite similar to and we'll be using the all of those that we have in the sqlite itself like creating a relationship and uh, creating your tables and database all of those stuff so you can just go and uh, read the the documentation over here why we should use this particular and i'm using it because it's uh, really good to use and it has a lot of the functionality it has a lot of feature it's a modular safe fast right and cross platform as you can see over here so first of all we need to add the the or uh, we need to add a dependency so for that we'll go to installation and then I need to get this particular package. So you can also go to this particular uh, documentation. I think the API reference, I think I hope that one. Okay, so not that one. So I'll go to the home page from here and uh, that will get us to the documentation and the guide, right? So let's go over here and we will go to the getting started with the SQL and we have to take all of those so currently we have to add this dependency right so just select all of these dependency just copy this one and just go back to your project and go to the pubspec.yml file and here we need to add that particular dependency so let me make it a little bit bigger over here and let me arrange it just a bit arrange the screen somewhere over here okay that should be fine and i hope you guys can see it uh, clearly and i need to go over here just clear it out this one we are not going to just comment remove that comment and i'll just paste that okay so we got that one and also we need a dev dependency so if we go back to this one and we need to get that dev dependency so drift dev and the build runner that we need to get two of those so build runner is to generate the code right code generation for the code generation we are using the build runner so let me go over here and i think i'll just paste it below this link flutter link and yeah i think that should be fine so we have pasted it over here 
and I think I'll also remove all of those comments and okay so we have added a drift package sqlite 3 for flutter library and the path provider that is basically used for the providing a path for the android as well as the ios like where to store your your database right so it needs a path so pipe provider and the path and i think after that we have you can run some command over here you can also use a visual extension uh visual studio or the vs code extension to just um just click on this particular and the download button and it will get the packages for you but you can also run the flutter command directly flutter pub get that is the command so i hope you guys can see it flutter pub get and that should uh, get the packages or you can install this extension and that should also do the same thing right so we have something over here i think it's getting some error so let us try to see what is the error we are getting over here it's saying that the path the, that we have added over here that the path that the dependency or the package dependency that we have added is using a path of the package and the version is of 1.8.1 and that depends on one that flutter test so this is related to the flutter test that is using the version of 1.0.8.0 so we should change back this one to uh, 1.8.0 and i think that should be fine and if i try to get the packages and yeah i think that should be fine it's running and it's trying to get all of the packages that should take a bit time and yeah i think that's everything is fine and if we didn't go to any error that means that package has been included in our flutter project already so the next thing that we'll be doing is we will be creating our uis and using the drift package to create our or create our database application we'll be creating a database application so let's meet up on the next one till then have a great day